Hello everyone. Okay, so my internet is down at the moment. Um, so it should be back up uh, first in a few hours. Uh, I'm having a technician come over and check it all out. So I'm recording this. I'm not sure exactly sure when it's going up. So hopefully it, it will be today, if uh, not sometime afterward. But here we go. Um, in order to cover some of the stuff that's happened in between time, I've looked up uh, a while ago. I managed to get my phone working uh, to check the internet, uh, uh, the YouTube video that Gold Standard put up, and he did some good stuff. It looks like uh, I haven't watched the whole video, but I wanted to get mine done, and I, I'll, uh, I might have to adjust, adjust it or shoot it again afterwards, and give my full thoughts on it but uh from what i could tell he did a pretty good job um i'm pretty much doing my own thing now um so i went over this and i had a look uh, uh so they had a saturday night's main event uh in between time but but uh, um i want to cover some of the stuff so i decided to keep um a lot of what they um originally put out uh for for this um and i'm changing a few things up. okay saturday night's main event we've got batista with degeneration x taking on mark henry and the elite squad members of nikki nick and johnny uh from uh uh the uh, what was the spirit squad uh and I'd probably have um, Batista go over here, uh, um, probably pinning one of the Elite Squad members. Uh, we've got Sandman taking on Big Show. Probably have Big Show go over. I don't, from memory, I remember something being said, Raven saying that um, the way Sandman got over was the way he did his... Uh, jobs so i would say look um i want to make let's tell big show look make sandman look strong but go over him okay um uh, he, he that's i need you to go over him but i need you i need both of you to come out of this <coughs> I'm good. next up we got six man tag action ray mysterio bobby lashley matt hardy uh and matt hardy taking on booker t william regal and finley uh, Rey Mysterio is definitely going over here. Um, um, we're just continuing on this little story here. ECW title match. Okay, so from memory, this is July 15th. Now, uh, the big thing was the 4th of July, um, Rob had, lo had lo lost both, by then lost both titles. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a match where Tommy Dreamer goes over Rob Van Dam. Um, the the way this would come about is um, it, it would be like a tribute to the original ECW show, uh, uh, something like that. like a uh, um full-on TNA uh, ECW Originals main event would be how it would be advertised and uh, out of respect Rob was gonna put, this wouldn't be announced be beforehand that this would be like a uh, Rob giving Tommy Dreamer or one of his friends a, a shot at the title uh, a belt that he has never had around his waist and during this match um, uh, Tommy go, goes over uh, pretty cleanly uh, I would try and do it because there needs to be some sort of punishment for Rob for what he did um, it's not so much the drugs he, uh, like if he was getting high I can't remember exactly what it was but um, the situation wasn't good and it needed to be uh, remedied and yeah um, Rob need to lose. 
So he's suspended, still suspended for 30 days. So he's not back until the beginning of August. So Tommy goes over and um, after the mat, uh, after the match, uh, Tommy's celebrating, and out from the back comes just incredible. He does the uh, I prefer it if he did that. It's, that. That's incredible. But if you can't do it, just do the super. Oh, let's see. He couldn't even do the super kick. So uh, he had this move in the game. I don't know if he actually did it, but it was a really cool DDT thing. So if he does that, um, he can do that uh, on uh, Tommy. And like then the attentions from Rob onto Tommy, the dreamer. Um, and the, and we, we, we shoot with the reason why, uh, or we say, or during this flurry, uh, Rob Rob's, uh, gets hurt, and that's why he's out. So you can do it that way if you want to, but I'd prefer to sh like, um, shoot with the reason. Then we have our main event for the Saturday Night's main event. Edge teaming up with Lita to take on John Cena and Trish Stratus. Now, here's the thing. I have a choice, and I'm not, and I'm going with the, the idea that um, I'm going to go with Edge as my top heel, and I need to firmly establish him, so I'm having him win the belt, uh, win the WWE title here, Leader's got the, the women's title, and we're going, uh, and that the main event of SummerSlam is going to be Edge versus John Cena one-on-one, -on -one. uh, at the moment, that's the plan at the moment, I might change it, I don't know if I've got... SummerSlam booked. No, I don't. So, the thing is, I like I like doing this match for Saturday Night's main event. is a, a mixed uh, mixed tag match. So, um, and it's Edge and Leader versus John Cena and Chris Stratus. Combine the two feuds, give the women in the ma main event, which is um, I think these two women uh, as over as they were. Would would uh, do a good job, uh, and it deserved to be the main. Honestly, this deserves to be the main event. And you got the two uh, two up and coming stars, Edge. Um, oh, I'd have Edge go over here, uh, or later. It doesn't matter which one. But the point is that that would happen. Okay, so then we go into the Great American Bash itself. Um, okay, uh, what we do here, um, for some reason, um, I can't find it anywhere. Um, if um, if um, Gold Standard wants to point this out to me. I don't know where he, he found his story about Kurt Angle getting suspended and um, Super Crazy getting suspended. The rest of the stuff I heard, heard him say, yeah, that's that's true. But I can't uh, I can't recall anything about that. I, I looked up Super Crazy on Wikipedia. Um, I don't remember him getting suspended. I don't remember what Kurt gets suspended. Because uh, I just watched um, a lot of the early ECW stuff, and he, he was on almost every show through through most of it. Um, so I don't know where he got his thing for it. So uh, there's not much I'm going to be changing. I know Mark Henry got injured, so yeah, we're going to go with that. So that match is cancelled. And... Um, the replacement is quickly put in as Mr. Kennedy uh, for Batista versus Mark Henry, um, which I probably would have done. Well, I would have done anyway, um, but I think this I think this turns out better. So 
It's Gregory Holmes versus Super Crazy. I'd have Gregory Holmes go over still. I, I think he, he was still the guy to go with. Then I put in here. I have put in a Four Corners tag team title match. Uh, it's the Pitbulls, Jamie Noble and Kid Cash versus the FBI, Little Guida and Tony Mamaluke representing ECW. Uh, Finley and, and William Regal. I think they're good foreign tag team. And then we got the tag team champions, Brian Kendrick and, and Paul London. And I would have the Kendrick and London go over. Uh, I love Four Corners matches. Um, I think it's a good way to showcase how much tag team talent you, you have. And I think it's a, a good way. Plus, I only had like... So I only have like seven matches, and I think this uh, like I could give this that little bit extra time. So yeah, unfortunately, in doing this, I for some reason I have come up with a lot less talent to put in the U.S. title match. But I I decided to go with S Savan here. <laughs> uh, he was still around. I decided to put put him in. I don't I don't know why, but I I think I just was like. Uh, mid card talent. I need I need someone who's who's there. And uh, I went. Uh, Savan is the only one I can find. Uh, and yeah, so I have um that going over. So Matt's gonna go over here. Uh, and Batista versus Mr. Kenny. I thought I, I just decided like uh, Mr. Kenny should go over here. Ken Kennedy, so yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Uh, I decided to throw in a Brian Panties tag team match. Um, Kelly Ke uh, Kelly Kelly and Trinity team up to take on Michelle McCool and Jillian Hall. That's what I decided to do. <laughs> so, and I had Michelle McCool go over here. Um, I'm not sure if she was dating Taker yet, so you can blame that on that. Um, then we have our ECW title match, Extreme Rules. Basically, the way this would come about is Booker T would say, all right, I've been WCW champion five times. I am not getting my shot at the WWE title anytime soon or the world title. But I reckon I can beat Tommy Dreamer for the ECW title. And um, that way he can be, I think... Think about it. Who who has been WCW champion and ECW champion? I I don't think anyone's done that. Like, okay, you think Flair? No, he 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 didn't uh, do it. Big Show in, in my storyline, he hasn't done that. Uh, you got Sting. No, you run down the list. I don't think anyone's actually done that. Um, Bam Bam, no, no, he wasn't WCW champion, he was ECW champion, Shane Douglas, he never got close to it, so unless you go, go back to Eastern Championship Wrestling, which I haven't done, uh, so I don't think any of those guys have done it, so that would be my excuse uh, to do it, uh, so I think people have been NWA champion, ECW champion, so... So that would be the course for this, and Dreamer would go over. This would be a bloody brawl. Uh, much the same as what the Just Incredible match would be, that would be a bloody brawl too, because uh, that that would be very personal leading into that, and this would be the next thing. Um, plus, I think the way I would have laid this out is also this would originally be Rob Van Dam versus Booker T, and we would bring up a lot of different stories there. So we might, we might still do that that match sometime down the road. But um, yeah, uh, yeah. Plus there, Undertaker versus Rey Mysterio in a steel cage, and guess what? I'm a Taker mark, so Taker's going over. Um, uh, and plus we've given Rey a pretty decent run. Uh, he has like he will have. Won his matches, a lot of his matches, by just sneaking by, and, and he, he wouldn't have gotten beat up 
like every single week uh, either so fuck that shit and no, no um I like because I haven't put in putting one in great gullies nowhere to be seen in uh or anything like that and they probably wouldn't have been on my show anyway probably wouldn't have been uh Mark Henry maybe but no I got I got I got seven good matches here uh uh and um well six good matches oh I I got some talent in there um Trinity could uh pretty decent uh women's worker so uh she could carry that um tag match but yeah um yeah but uh let me know what you think uh don't know when this is going up guys uh sorry the like i said internet's down um at this moment so if this turns out to be really late damn it but uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed this this so far um yeah, it's uh, four in the morning here when I'm recording this. So then, pretty much a night out recently. Uh, also, la one last thing before I go, I I saw Valerian last night. I'm gonna check the reviews to find out what uh, the the consenting opinion on this is, but uh, Rotten Tomatoes has got it wrong. I think it deserves a little bit better of a score than it does. Uh, some other places are really low, and I'm like, ah, I think they're just looking at the box office, not the movie itself. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Like, the, uh, I'll go into that later on. Another video, maybe. Bye.